Special thanks to Hawaiian Tropic for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, what's up? It's your baby. Welcome back to another vlog. This is just going to be another spend the day with us type vlog. I really don't have anything special or crazy planned for the day, but you guys have been saying that you just wanted to see more vlogs of us just kind of chilling and doing our thing, nothing crazy. So that's what this vlog is going to be. Of course, we're still staying home right now. So like I said, nothing crazy, but just come along and spend the day with us. Let's hang out. So I actually just got out the shower um we woke up late today i'm not gonna lie today is a friday and it feels like a sunday or something to me i don't know i'm just not really feeling super duper productive today so we woke up kind of late and zaya has actually been doing um online classes <laughs> yes because uh she does normally go to school it's not just like a daycare that she goes to it's like an actual like preschool and it's so cute like she's still getting her story time and getting her lessons in so yeah that is what she's doing right now i've been really trying to make sure that she tunes into all of the classes since they are at like certain times throughout the morning i just set alarms on my phone because she's been out of school for quite a while now and i don't want her to start forgetting everything that they were learning and forgetting her spanish and stuff i'm a little late to the game this morning trying to finish up uh, getting ready and doing my skincare. I always cleanse my face in the shower and then I do my serums and then my moisturizer. I do have my DIY eyelash extensions on. If you guys have not seen my little tutorial for how to do that, it is on my IGTV. And my eyebrows kind of have like a faux eyebrow tint to them, which I showed you guys in my camper routine video so definitely check that out i've been really liking the way that this just kind of helps me feel more put together without having makeup on i think i might start doing these eyelash extensions like all the time they hold up pretty well but i wanted to tell you guys about two new products that i have been using in my recent vlogs i've been saying that SPF is important. Like you wanna make sure you're wearing sunscreen, include sunscreen into your everyday skincare routine, especially if you struggle with acne scars, hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, any kind of skin issues, and especially if you're using uh, products on your skin to help with those skin issues, you really wanna make sure that you're putting on SPF afterwards to help protect your skin from the sun and to actually let those other products work. Because if not, as soon as you go outside, the sun is just burning up your face, making all your dark marks darker, and just undoing everything that you're trying to do with your skincare. So I have been using these two Hawaiian Tropic products. These are new. These Hawaiian Tropic products are really nice because they do offer UVA and UVB protection. They're made with really good skin-loving ingredients and botanicals, and they actually do have the Skin Cancer Foundation seal of recommendation for daily use. And they are cruelty free this one is paraben free and it's reef friendly as well so again this one is the antioxidant refresh sunscreen mist this one has green tea in it and this is just good to help prevent skin damage of course in general spf in general we're trying to help prevent skin damage but this one just has really good ingredients to prevent skin aging and stuff like that this one is spf 30 and this is good for your face and body and it's just a nice little lightweight non-greasy mist so literally after you do your skincare you cleanse you put your serums your toners your moisturizers whatever you do for your skincare you can literally just You can literally just miss this on same way like you do with your like makeup setting spray and as you can see it's literally it's not greasy it kind of gives you like a little bit of a glow i would say but it's not greasy at all it's super lightweight and you can literally miss this like all over your chest and shoulders you can miss it all over your body but i really like to just mist it over my face because i feel like it allows the rest of my skincare underneath to like not be disturbed if that makes sense but i'm still getting my 
SPF. I like that it's in this little like travel friendly bottle as well because this is something that you can throw in your bag and take with you if you need to reapply or if you are traveling you could take it with you but this is really an everyday skincare type product like I said every day when you're doing your skincare miss this on as the last thing your last step if you do prefer a more lotion cream type sunscreen um, I would recommend the matte effect lotion this is just more of your standard um, lotion consistency but this is a matte lotion so it's actually going to absorb the oils on your skin and give you that nice smooth matte effect not greasy at all super lightweight as well this one is SPF 50 it's mineral enriched with naturally sourced sea minerals and again it's reef friendly cruelty free all that stuff so if you prefer a lotion you can use this one on your face and body as well but if you just want something super quick and easy I definitely recommend the mist so if you guys are interested, you guys can click the link below to shop Hawaiian Tropic. Okay, so now that my skincare is done and I'm feeling nice and moisturized, I'm going to make myself some coffee and some breakfast. Zaya already, I gave her breakfast earlier while she was doing her online school. So she already ate and she's upstairs uh, playing in the playroom, if y'all can hear her. She's playing with her uh, baby dolls upstairs. So I'm gonna make me some breakfast now. I wanted to show y'all, like I have been, I have been really into the air fryer recently. I'm like late to this trend, but cause I feel like a couple of years ago, everybody was talking about air fryers and how it was healthier and you can make all types of stuff. But my mom actually had one and she wasn't really using it. So I took it and I've been using it and just experimenting with it. And I discovered that you can make really good crispy bacon in the air fryer. And it just seems like it's much faster. I like to make bacon in the oven. Cause I just like the crispiness, like the texture is way better. Oh, there <laughs> the texture is way better than when you do it on the stove in my opinion because I just like extremely crispy bacon so I normally do it in the oven but then you got to preheat the oven and that takes like 10 minutes then you got to put it in there and it takes like what 15 minutes to cook so it, it's like a whole 30 minute ordeal just to make a couple slices of bacon but in the air fryer it doesn't need to preheat so you literally just plug it in lay your bacon out I have a little small air fryer they make bigger ones where you can fit more stuff in there but this one works for me especially since i'm only making like one or two servings for me and zaya you just lay it out like this try to make it just like one even layer i kind of had to shove it in there because i have a smaller air fryer but this is what like five pieces of bacon which is good for me and zaya and it's so quick so i usually put it on maybe like 390 or 400 i'm gonna do 390 just to be safe because i did burn it one time and then put it in there for let's start with 10 minutes and then check it and you're good you don't have to preheat it or anything in the meantime while that's going for 10 minutes first of all i'm gonna put the rest of this bacon in this tupperware container because they don't know how to design good packaging like how hard is it to put a zip lock like a zippy closure or something on the freaking bacon package like what I feel like that should be like a given. Like we don't eat a whole thing of bacon in one go. We need to be able to close up the bacon. I would like to write a letter to the bacon corporations of America and tell them to put a freaking zipper on the package. I'm gonna make a petition. Who gonna sign my petition? Comment down below if you would be willing to sign my petition because it pisses me off every time I open a bag of bacon. Anyways, in the meantime, I'm gonna make myself some avocado toast because I like to put bacon on top of my avocado toast. If you haven't tried it, it's a game changer. I like um, like honey wheat bread. It's not gluten-free, but gluten-free bread is just not that good usually. Sometimes I do eat gluten-free bread when I'm trying to be respectful to my body, but honestly, I don't like gluten-free stuff that much. So toast my bread. Meanwhile, I'll get my butter and my avocado ready. I have this half of an avocado left over from yesterday when I did this. This is like a perfectly ripe avocado. We love to see it. Sometimes it's so hard to catch an avocado at the right time for optimum ripeness. Oh, this is a really good one. And then I get my seasonings ready. So I just do salt and pepper, but I also like to do a little bit of red pepper flakes and garlic powder. Toast, 
is toasted. So I'm gonna butter the toast and then spread the avocado on top. Butter while the toast is still warm. Then you take half of this half of avocado. You just divide it between, it's like the perfect amount. So I scoop out half for one piece and then the other side for the other piece. Kind of smoosh it down. Just like that. Okay, my bacon needs a couple more minutes in the air fryer. So in the meantime, I thought I would show you guys how I do my whipped coffee. This is like my own version because I was experimenting with it ever since I discovered it on TikTok. And now I've like mastered it and it's so good. So let me show you. A major key that you need for this or that I would recommend is one of these um, automatic whisker things. And then you need instant coffee. I just eyeball it, cause I've done this a lot, but basically it's about one to two tablespoons of instant coffee. And this is the little cup that came with this thing, but you wanna do this in a tall cup so it doesn't like splash everywhere. And then you put your sugar. So again, like one to two tablespoons of sugar, kind of like equal parts of coffee and sugar. This is the way I do it. This is not the traditional way, okay? Then you wanna put a splash, like again, one to two tablespoons of water in here. And then kind of just incorporate that all together, mix it up, and then, and you don't have to warm it up. That's what I discovered at first. Like I saw people say you need to use hot water, but just regular room temperature water, I just got this water from my fridge, is fine. What are you doing? Why are you running around? <laughs> what are y'all doing? Zaya and Bougie are just acting a fool in the background of my cooking show right now, you guys. Okay, so there you got your coffee, sugar, water, and this is where you start mixing. So it turns into a really nice, creamy, thick, whipped cream type consistency. So you should get something like that. And you can see how it like literally quadruples in volume. Like this whole thing is full now. Then this is the, the, the Raven's Ratchet Kitchen secret touch. You wanna take some ice and I have these little mini ice cubes because my ice machine in my fridge broke and I only had this small little mini ice cube tray on hand for some reason. So I made all these little mini ice cubes and they actually work perfect for this. I mean, I guess you could maybe use crushed ice or regular ice cubes because something about having the ice, it makes it whip up even thicker. Careful not to splash or spill it. I guess if you use ice cold water, it could help too, but it just gets like really thick. Like really thick like that, like look at that, ooh yes. Then you put in the rest of your ice, like a normal amount of ice to make an ice drink, like so. And I like to put in some of this vanilla syrup stuff like that they use at Starbucks or whatever. So I usually like two pumps of the vanilla. And honestly that really sets it off, like I highly recommend adding that in. Maybe a vanilla extract could help too, but I, I like the syrup because it also sweetens it. And then to make it into a latte, you add your milk of choice. I like oat milk, vanilla oat milk, and pour that in there. Get yourself a nice eco-friendly bamboo straw and mix it up gently. Ooh, look at that. Delicioso. And it should still like maintain its creaminess even after you put the milk in there. That's why I like to whip it up super thick in the beginning. And voila, you're done. This is so good. It has almost like a roasted caramel flavor to it. I think it's something about whipping up the coffee and like the sugar, it almost like caramelizes it or something. I don't know, but it has like a really, like unique flavor to it that you don't get from just like a regular ice latte. It's so good, you guys. You have to try this if you like coffee. Okay, you guys, so the bacon is done approximately 12 minutes later. Look how crispy. I like extremely, extremely, extremely crispy bacon, like almost burnt. Like I don't want any piece of it to be chewy, so this is perfect for me. Look at that, super good. I mean, I know you could get the same result on a frying pan or in the oven or whatever. This is only slightly quicker, but I think I'm honestly just kind of obsessed with the air fryer right now, so I've been using it for everything. Oh, I should have put my seat. I got too excited. I got too excited, I forgot to season. Hold on, let me take this off. You gotta season your avocado first. 
Oh my God, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Got ahead of myself. Then garlic powder, just a little sprinkle. And then red pepper flakes. Then you put your bacon strips on there. Like so, like that. My presentation gets a three out of 10, but I'm telling you, this is so good. If you like avocado, if you like BLTs, anything like that, this is super good. And Zaya loves bacon, so she's over here. She was sniffing around. You want some? You already had breakfast, but I guess I'll share. She got her bowl ready. <laughs> bacon in a bowl. There you go. <laughs> Where are you going? Sit down. Where are you taking it? Mm. Mm. It hits different when you wake up late and you're hungry. Mm. Mm. All right, so it's a little bit later now. We're about to go out in the backyard. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Hawaiian Tropic Mist. Close your eyes. We can make sure that we are protected from that hot Texas sun. What, Bougie, you wanna go outside too? Bougie literally acts like a dog. He cries to go outside every day. Okay, come on. We have to keep an eye on him. I do let him come outside with us sometimes, but we have to really keep an eye on him because I don't want him to get lost. There's a lot of ways that he can escape, so I don't want him to get lost. Zaya has been loving the sidewalk chalk. Unfortunately, I talked about this on my Instagram stories. Uh, the red chalk, apparently it's a thing that red chalk stains really bad and I didn't know that. And this whole, like all three steps were completely covered with red chalk. Like I literally tried everything to get that red chalk off of my steps. I was like scrubbing it. I was rinsing it down with the hose. It's supposed to just be like, it's chalk, it's sidewalk chalk. It should come off easily with water, but whatever is in that red pigment, it stains really bad and I didn't know that. And so it just would not come off at all until finally I did bring some bleach out here and try to scrub it with some bleach. And so that's why now it looks pretty faded, but it's still not completely gone. And I also didn't want to use too much bleach because then it's going to rinse off into my grass and everything. And I don't like, obviously that's bad for my grass and it's going to kill my grass. So I was like, let me just stop. So anyway, my patio is still somewhat stained with the red chalk, but I have since decided to just let Zaya, um, you know, color all over the whole patio because I think at the end of the day, like nothing is getting that red chalk off. So I'm probably gonna have to hire someone to come out here with a actual pressure washer and just pressure wash the whole entire patio, get all this dirt and stuff off anyway. And hopefully that gets all the chalk off. But for now, it's just, I'm just like, whatever, just mess it up, just color as much as you want. And then I will fix it later. I'd rather have her be able to actually you know, play out here. But yeah, I'm glad that this is at least in my back patio where nobody can see it instead of being like in my front driveway because if my front driveway was covered and stained with chalk, I would low key probably get in trouble by like my homeowners association or whatever it's called. Cause my neighborhood is like a little bit strict with like their requirements on keeping everything looking nice. So at least it's back here where nobody can see it. See, this is why we have to be careful with letting Bougie come out here because he be trying to run away. There's like little holes like drainage holes in the wall that just lead outside to the to the great unknown and you trying to run out there. Mm. Now you want to act shy. What are you doing? Don't run away, Bougie. You have to stay where oh, I can see God. you. I draped Zaya's baby pool over the table to like dry it out. <laughs> it looks like some sort of weird tablecloth. This is what we've been doing every day. Coming outside, blowing bubbles, playing with all this stuff. A hot dog, where'd that random hot dog come from? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you. Mommy, I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> what is that? Does it change in? Try blue and yellow and rub it together. And rub it together. It changed 
do a cover. Kinda. Okay, Zaya, make sure that you clean up all your stuff, put your chalk away and your pool noodles inside the cabinet and back inside the boxes so it doesn't blow away like it did last time. We gotta make sure everything is put away and secure. Kitty, Kitty what are you doing? That is not a litter box. What are you doing? No, get out. <gasps> oh my God, he's covered in chalk. Oh my God, you're so dirty now. What did you do? You just went and rolled around in the chalk. Look, reason number 57 why I should not be letting you come out here, even though you begged me to come out here. Bougie, where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> See, most of the colors spray right off, then it's not a problem. But the black and the red, like it's supposed to just spray right off. They need to put a warning on the package that says, use the red color at your own risk. Okay, so it is, it's about three o'clock now and normally Zaya should be taking her afternoon nap but she is not asleep. We have been fighting naps recently. I guess she feels like since she's four years old now, she doesn't need to take naps anymore. And maybe that's true, I don't know. But she really has not been going down for her nap very easily and we've been skipping a lot of naps. So maybe she's done with her nap phase. <laughs> I don't know, she's growing up so fast. But anyways, since she's not taking a nap, I am actually going to drop her off at Grammy's house. Um, she loves going over there because she is spoiled over there and also she just gets super bored with staying home 24 seven recently. So at least if she can go to my mom's house, it's a little bit of a change of scenery. And I need to go to the store because y'all, some of you guys have been waiting for this and asking me about this. But if you remember my video, where I tried to do my own fluid art painting. I painted this huge canvas and it just did not come out how I wanted it to at all. And also when it dried, all the paint cracked and it just, it's just not the result I was looking for. So I had told you guys that I was gonna try and just paint over it and just redo it. So it has been sitting in my house, just looking sad ever since then. That was like, what, like maybe a couple months ago now. And today I'm finally like, you know what? Let's do this. So I need to go to the store to get some supplies. Um, I've got my mask and my hand sanitizer ready to go. Let's make a quick trip to the store, see if I can get what I need um, while Zaya hangs out at my mom's house. And then I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what I can do with this painting. I'm scared because I don't, I didn't have a good experience the first time. This canvas was kind of expensive and I've been really wanting art for my house. So the pressure is kind of on to make something work with this canvas. Otherwise I'm gonna feel like I wasted a really big, really expensive canvas. So anyway, I'm just gonna go and see if I can find the paint that I need and we're just gonna go for it. Y'all like my outfit of the day? <laughs> it's super hot outside, but it's always super cold in the store. So I have my little like Texas summer outfit on, but then I got my <laughs> leopard cardigan. It's actually kind of matches low key for it being cold in the store. And then I have my mom slides on because those were the quickest shoes I could put on. I look a hot mess, my hair is sticking up everywhere. But you know what, quarantine fashion, it is what it is. Okay, so just dropped Zaya off at my mom's and I just also wanted to mention that the only reason why I am going to Michael's to get the paint supplies is because it's right next door to my grocery store and I do need to get some stuff from the grocery store and surprisingly Michael's is open. But since I'm already heading in that direction to go to the store, I thought I might as well just go in store and honestly I need a change of scenery so bad it's been how many weeks now about two months without really going anywhere besides the grocery store like literally grocery store mom's house my house grocery store mom's house my i literally have not even gotten gas i have been trapped in my house and me being an introvert 
to feel trapped that's saying something so even just me going to michael's right now feels like a vacation it feels like something very fun and special to do so i'm just taking advantage of the opportunity all right y'all so i got the goods i got my setup i'm using the same setup as i did in that original video if you haven't seen it go check it out but my first plan of action is going to be to just take some plain white paint not mixed with anything just plain white paint to kind of paint over this whole entire thing and hopefully it'll kind of fill in the cracks a little bit and cover up the messiness that's going on on the sides and just kind of even everything out um, to give me somewhat of a blank canvas to then try pouring the paint again. I know I said that I wasn't even sure about the pour paint technique, but I'm just like determined to get it right. So I am gonna try the same fluid art technique, but first I gotta do that like base layer of white paint. All right, say goodbye. I'm trying to do a really thin layer because I don't want it to be really thick and end up cracking again. But it is kind of working to fill in the cracks at least a little bit. Oh, I just splattered paint in my face. Ow, it got in my eye. Oh. All right, I washed the paint out of my eyeball and then I finished putting like a really thin coat of regular white paint. It's actually almost completely dry already. Um, and so now I'm about to mix up my paint. So here's the thing, they did not have any of the normal mixing medium, pouring medium that people recommend that you use which I didn't use last time, which y'all said is probably why it cracked, but they didn't have it at the store and they also didn't have it on, like I just wasn't able to get it. So I looked up a solution and I got two big bottles of this Flow acrylic that kind of already has the mixing medium mixed into it. And then I also do have some water and I have some glue, like white glue because People said if you mix white glue into it as well, it will help with the cracking. So I'm kind of making my own little concoction, but definitely not just using water this time because that did not work last time. I do have a little bit of water if I need to thin it out even more, but I made sure to get two big old bottles of white paint this time. Okay, so here is my mixture of flow paint, glue, and water. And I'm mixing up all my paint ahead of time and getting all my paint ready. That was another mistake that I did before. This actually might need to be thinned out a teensy bit more. I didn't like the super yellow gold that I used last time. So I got this bronze one. I used like the tiniest bit of this and maybe also this color just so it's more toned down and matches the tones in my living room a little better rather than yellow gold. Here goes nothing. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna do it. Well, I managed to cover the whole canvas this time, but I still hate it. The design is even worse than before. Like the way that the paint mixed, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Maybe I just don't like this style of art. I really don't like it. I would not hang this up on my wall. Maybe some people would, but it's just not, nothing compares to the first tester canvas that I did in the first video. Like this design is not as cool at all. It just looks, I hate it. I really, I really thought it was gonna turn out better. I mean, at least, at least I didn't run out of paint this time, just barely. But once again, I would not hang this up on my wall. So you know what? What do I have to lose? I'm about to take this piece of cardboard and do a scrape across the whole entire thing. I'm just messing around at this point because this canvas is about to end up in the trash with how I'm feeling right now. So might as well have some fun with it, right?
I kind of like that. This is abstract art that I would actually hang in my house. Wow, it has depth, it has depth, it has layers, it has texture. All right, y'all, I'm finished. And you guys are going to think that I have lost my mind and honestly, I might have, but here it is. <laughs> I wish I could see the look on some of you guys' faces right now, but okay, clearly, first of all, moment of silence for my hands. I know from experience last time that this does actually wash off relatively easily, but I had to ditch the gloves and then I want you to look at my feet. Bruh. I literally, just, just, I made the biggest mess. There's so much paint, like just, just bottles of paint covering this entire tarp. I started getting paper out because I had to like make somewhere for me to step, but then that was where I was slipping. I just want to say, clearly I went for a different, totally different style of painting. Definitely abstract, still got the color scheme going. And I actually genuinely like this. Like I'm looking at this and I'm like, this is art. This is art, you know, it has balance. It has a focal point. It has movement, it has layers, it has texture. I spent hours on it, layering it up and getting the lines to look how I wanted it to look and the balance of how much of each color I wanted. The only thing I don't like about it is that the gray that it created is a very cool toned gray and my house is a more warm toned color palette. So I'm not sure how that's gonna look in my house because this is overall like very cool toned. This style of like brush strokey art, I literally have been looking to buy art like this. Like this is art, okay, I swear. I swear you see stuff like this in stores. Is it exactly like this? Did I do it right? Probably not, but I feel like this looks like something that could hang on the wall. I'm hopeful. I think what's really, really gonna set it off is if I can frame it with a black frame to make it look like professional and look like, you know, legit. But overall, I mean, that's art. You can't tell me that that's not art. It might not be your style of art. It might not even be my style of art, but you cannot tell me that that's not art. And the poor paint, the fluid, the fluid painting, I'm done, I'm over it, I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. I've decided I just don't like that type of art. But this, this might work. This might actually work, you guys. Stay tuned on this, on this art saga. Stay tuned to see if I get this framed and if it ends up on the wall. Stay tuned. Thanks again to Hawaiian Tropic for sponsoring this video.